Bacteria. There are many types of bacteria with a mixture of features of fungi, animals, and plants. Like animals, bacteria obtain their carbon for their carbon chains from fungi, animals, and plants. Some bacteria use sunlight for their energy source, just like plants do, while other bacteria use the organic compounds of fungi, animals, and plants, just like animals do. Bacteria are present in most habitats on Earth, growing in soil, acid hot springs, radioactive waste, water, and deep in the Earth's crust, as well as in organic matter, whether plants or animals, alive or dead. Bacteria often attach to surfaces and form dense aggregations called biofilms or bacterial mats. These films can range from a few micrometers in thickness to up to a half a meter in depth and may contain multiple species of bacteria. There are typically 50 billion bacteria cells in a tablespoon of soil and 200,000 in a drop of fresh water. There are approximately 10 times as many bacteria cells in the human flora as there are human cells in the body. The weight of all bacteria in the world exceeds the weight of all the plants and animals. Bacteria are a small single cell without any nucleus, mitochondria, or any other membrane-bound organelles. They are about 10 times smaller than a normal cell containing a nucleus, and about 10 times larger than a virus. They have a wide range of shapes, ranging from spheres to rods and spirals. Most bacterial species are either spherical, called cocci, or rod-shaped, called bacilli. Elongation is associated with swimming. Some rod-shaped bacteria called Vibrio, are slightly curved or comma-shaped. Others can be spiral-shaped, called spirilia, or tightly coiled, called spirochates. A small number of species even have tetrahedral or cubital shape. Many bacterial species exist simply as single cells. Others group together in characteristic patterns from diploid pairs, chains, and grape clusters. Bacteria can also be elongated to form complex branched filaments similar in appearance to fungal mycelia. Bacteria are vital for recycling nutrients and for providing plants with their nitrogen from the atmosphere. Bacteria are vital for animals, decomposing them when they die. Bacteria are helpful to man for mining gold, palladium, copper, and other metals from the earth. Bacteria are vital for nature to digest hydrocarbons and petroleum when cleaning up oil spills. Bacteria are vital for man for forming the flora, vital for his health, in his digestive tracts. A few species of bacteria are pathogenic and cause infectious diseases including cholera, syphilis, anthrax, leprosy, and bubonic plague. The most common fatal bacterial diseases are respiratory infections, with tuberculosis alone killing about 200 million people a year. Production of cheese is achieved by bacteria eating lactose or milk sugar, and their excretions, which are lactic acid, curdling or condensing proteins in milk. Production of yogurt is achieved by bacteria overpopulating the milk. Their excretions give the yogurt its sour taste. Bacteria growth can be increased by warmth and sweat, and large populations of these organisms causes humans to have a sweet, sour smell called body odor.